<laughs> Less than a minute. The Uncanny Valley is... A minute? Come on. We just spent an hour and a half on this. <laughs> a mythical concept that has inspired... Less than one minute. Less than one minute, Uncanny Valley is a lateral inhibition. Are we starting? Here we go. Um, uh, the Uncanny Valley is about the ambiguity of liveness. The Uncanny Valley is just a hugely influential idea. Uncanny Valley is kind of trigger the use of some new research direction, especially focusing on the human and the humanoid. That sense of internal uncertainty that we feel when we look at something and don't know whether it's alive or not. It's a function of lateral inhibitions. You know, we have lateral inhibition for any kind of any levels. Of uh, robots have two properties. They have uh, functional properties and they have aesthetic properties. And uh, the function and the aesthetics of robots are deeply entwined. I think the Uncanny Valley is actually about our reactions to both sex and death. Inspire continues to inspire roboticists, artists, thinkers, philosophers. The Uncanny Valley push the triggers a new research direction and new science paradigm. A lot of people take it as kind of scientific fact because it's presented in the form of a graph. I think it's more valuable as um, an idea about aesthetics. One of the things we do as human animals is look for breeding partners. And then you know, Uncanny Valley is for the human the lateral inhibition effect for human. So if we acknowledge that uh, a robot, how a robot looks, is as important as how it moves, and that these things relate directly to its functionality. There's something innate to the Uncanny Valley that, that scares us off and keeps us from having sex with robots. Because it's not a don't anyone who takes it literally, like uh, and argues about the axes, is missing the entire point. And the right uh, and then uh, no, I yeah. oh, man. That's a terrible job. Can I start over? <laughs> Right. That's, uh, that's all right.